So the first petition is the petition from Prime Boy, 27 March 2024. The Assistant Inspector General of Police, Nigerian Police Force, Zone 2 Command, Onikon, Lagos. DSR. 1. Petition against Omonwumi Adebanjo, in bracket Aloba, for threat to life, false accusation, and using men of the state's criminal investigation department, so state CID, to intimidate and coerce Mr. Omo Owoduni Ibrahim, our client, into making false confession of causing grievous bodily harm on Ileri Ulua Aloba, the deceased, also known as Mobad, contrary to section 56, 93, 94, 96 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State 2015, and petition against Inspector Muhammad of State CID, Banti, for official high-handedness, abuse of police powers, and attempt to pervert justice contrary to Section 97 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State 2015. We act as solicitors to Mr. Ibrahim Awuduni, also known as Prime Boy, herein after referred to as our client, and on whose express instruction we petition your good office. Our client briefed our office of the timeline of events as follows. That sometime around September 2023, at the demise, after the demise of Ileri Lua Aloba, deceased, Hearing after, described as Mobad, our client was shockingly declared wanted for the death of Mobad. Our client, upon discovering the ugly situation and as a law-abiding citizen, made himself available at the state CID Banti, where he was interrogated and detained for four months before he was eventually released sometime in January 2024 and was requested to frequently attend the state CID Banti for signing pending the conclusion of the investigation. Our clients thereafter made it a point of duty to consistently attend the state CID Banti on every appointment date given to him. However, on one of the occasions of his visit sometime in March 2024, our client was again re-arrested on the basis that there was another petition, albeit frivolous, for cyber stalking written against him by Omaumi Adebanjo in bracket Aloba. To our client's chagrin, he was handcuffed to the chair like a convicted criminal by Inspector Muhammad of the state CID Banti and was interrogated with questions that are not related to cyber stalking, but which only tilted towards coercing our client to admit that he was the one who stabbed Mobad with a dagger before his death. Unknown to Inspector Muhammad, our client had his phone on him and quickly took pictures and made videos of his predicament at the time. Copies of the said photographs are herewith attached to the instant petition. Our client also quickly called his friends and escorts to alert them of the development, after which our client's friends intervened and secured the reads of our client from Inspector Muhammad of State CID Banti. Upon our client's further request into the reason for his detention, Inspector Muhammad and other officers of State CID Panty informed our client that he should go and cooperate with Omoumi Adebanjo and to do her biddings. Wow. It's important to state that since the release of our client from the detention of State CID Panty, he has been receiving several threats via phone calls and social media, which were all orchestrated by Omoumi Adebanjo and her courts. It is also imperative to put on record that our client and his mother has been receiving several death threats from various angles suspected to be from Omomi Adebanjo and her apologists. Omomi Adebanjo has been making frantic efforts using the instrumentality of the state CID Banti to coerce our client into admitting that he stabbed Mubad before his demise in September 2023. Indeed, Omomi Adebanjo has also been taking every necessary steps in ensuring that our client did not attend the ongoing coroner's inquest into the death of Mobad, as Omomi Adebanjo and her cohorts have had given false testimonies in the proceedings and are now apprehensive that our client might turn the table of narratives with his testimonies. Flowing from the above paragraph, Omomi Adebanjo has been employing the coercive powers of the state CID 
particularly by engaging Inspector Muhammad to harass, intimidate and oppress our client. It is also surprising that the said Inspector Muhammad threw caution to the wind and in contravention of the relevant laws in attempting to coerce our client to make false confession regarding the death of late Mobad. Having regard to the foregoing, it is our client's instruction that you use your good office to further investigate the acts of the duo of Omar Wumi Adebanjo and Inspector Muhammad in order to forestall the continuous victimization of our clients and to prevent acts that might result into breach of peace. We therefore appeal that you use your good office to investigate this matter in the interest of our clients and with a view to taking the appropriate steps as your office may deem it fit in the circumstance. Thank you. Yours faithfully, for confidentiality reasons and security reasons, the name of the lawyer is withheld. Thank you. That's the one from Prime Boy. So let me know if you need me to read the one of Darusha. Go ahead, ma. Go ahead, Miss Anne. We are listening. Thank you. Okay. So the one from Darusha was written on the 25th of March, uh, sorry, 25th of March, 2024. The AIG, Inspector General of Police, Nigerian Police Force Zone 2 Command, Oniko, Lagos. Dear sir, petition against Mr. Buluwatife Adeyemo, also known as Darusha, for tampering with the corpse of Ilerio Lua Oladimeji Aloba, also known as Mobad, contrary to Section 16, of the Corona System Law of Lagos State 2007 and punishable under Section 48 of the Corona System Law of Lagos State 2007. We act as solicitors to Mr. Joseph Aloba, hearing, hearing after referred to as our client, and on whose express instruction we petition your good office. Our client briefed our office of the timelines of events as follows. On the 12th day of September 2023, at about 4 p.m., our client received a call from the mother of Ilerio Lua Oladimeji Aloba, deceased, hearing after described as Mobad, informing him that the deceased was ill, and without delay, our client informed Mobad's mother of a meeting point, so parties converge in order to board a boat to Leki from Ikorudu. Our client in the company of the mother of Mobad arrived at Leki. However, the communication of the well-being of Mobad was with Mobad's mother and now our client. So he was solely reliant on the information he received from her. The hospital was described to the mother of Mobad via phone, who then conveyed the location to our client as Osakwa London bus stop. On arriving at Osakwa London bus stop, Mobad's mother called again so they could be picked, so they could be picked up, that should read. But she was informed by who she was in communication with to turn back as the deceased is now fully recovered. Our client, our client on hearing the development became suspicious and requested Mobad's mother hands him the phone so he can speak with whoever she has been in communication with. Our client discovered it was personal assistant to the deceased in the person of Boluwatife Adeyemo, who is popularly known as Darusha. Our client felt, felt uneasy and he immediately proceeded to the last known address of the deceased in the company of the deceased mother. Our client arrived at the home of the deceased at about 10 p.m. on the same day. He observed the house was filled with a lot of people who were mostly unknown to him. Our client immediately rushed to the bedroom of the deceased located upstairs in the said duplex. He met the absence of the deceased in the room. He, however, he observed there was a bed sheet soaked in blood. On sighting this, our client was afraid and immediately rushed out of the room, heading downstairs. On his arrival downstairs, our client was told by Lifestyle, a dancer who worked with the deceased, to look at the corpse of his son which was placed by the staircase. On sighting the corpse of his very talented son, our client noticed salt was placed on the chest of the deceased. His nostrils, mouth, and ear holes 
were also clothed with pieces of cotton wool. Apparently, the corpse of the son of our client had been locally embalmed by Darusha. We wish to bring to your attention the legal implications of the actions of Darusha in accordance with Nigerian law. The Corona System Law 2007, Section 48 of the law addresses this offence and penalties of tampering with a dead body contrary to Section 16. Darusha actions not only violate the aforementioned legal provision, but also create significant a significant jeopardy to public order, misinforming people that there are no consequences to tampering with the cops by, locally, by local embalmment, that should read. Not locally embalmment, so that should be local embalmment. We urge you to take immediate and decisive action to investigate this matter thoroughly and bring Darusha to justice. It is our client's instruction that you use your good office to further investigate the act of Darusha hearing. It is also important to our clients that such acts must not go unpunished in order to prevent such audacity from being a norm. Hence, we prevail on your office to act fast. We therefore appeal that you use your good office to investigate this matter in the interest of our client and with a view to taking the appropriate steps as your office may deem fit in the circumstance to prosecute, uh, prosecute Darusha accordingly. Thank you. Emmanuel Okoro Esquire, Andrian Bar Association MBA, stamped, signed, and sealed. Thank you. It was on this platform that it was talked about, and we decided to take actions. Then in December 28, exactly three months today, I believe today is March 28, I, I believe. If that thing was pursued, then we will not be here today. And I hope. With this one that she just did yesterday, insulting Baba Mobad, lying that Baba Mobad is rubbing shoulders with the people that bullied uh, Mobad, and also Baba Mobad was the one that set Prime Boy free. I, I want to pray, 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 and I will call, I will take it upon myself to make a call for them to, actually I have sent a message out already, but I will follow the message with a call. They have to petition Wumi for this reckless behavior. Only if they had followed the one, especially even when Baba went to Berekete, we also brought it up that there is a petition sitting in Abuja. We were shut down. I mean, I don't have to re erase everything that happened on the streets of TikTok. I was sliced, I was skinned alive. But everybody, everybody was calling me back out, back off, back down, back in, back in, back up, back away. But if only if, but we will not be here today. We will not be here today at all. But Oba Nikobaje, Wumima Bogba, Ba, Ba. Oba Nikobaje. So, and uh, I know Papriano will not like my next statement, but <laughs> January 1st, I did a video not too long ago, two days ago. I stated what happened January 1st, eight hours. We were in a meeting with Kudi. We did not want to take this man. Very fantastic lawyer, very good lawyer, Barista Taiwo. Uh, Odumosu, fantastic lawyer. It's just that um, criminology wasn't his area of specialty. And we said, okay, let's even work together. Could he, could he, could he was refused. That is why I was so mad that she came out and was talking nonsense. She refused. She single-handedly hired him and all of a sudden she's saying he's not a son she knew that we were in a meeting together about 12 of us look where we are today when our petition came out she was like victoria is crying more than they believed making fun of us and the team 
It's so sad. And millions of people have emotional breakdown. I have two people that call me that their marriage has collapsed because of justice for Mobile. Lady Harris, are you sure we are going to get justice? Two people called me that their marriage broke down, collapsed. A lot of people lost their jobs, including Tanya Omologo. She will tell you she lost two jobs. Tap, 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 tap. She will tell you she lost two jobs. Why play with fingering our brains, playing with our emotions? If anybody go to her platform, please tell her. She has done more damage than good. Is she supposed to be parading witnesses on her platform? She's supposed to be a lawyer? She knows better. What if they come and say, well, those people have been coached? But, Miss Chantel, we will do, I always say it, we will fight until we can fight no more. I'm very glad they already told me and us if we need any signature. Mr. Taiwo Dumosu himself said it. Taiwo needs anything. Keep up my sign. I just came on. Baba, sign it. Don't worry. He gave me his words. He gave me his words. And I will tell you, the man is fantastic. Really, seriously speaking. Me, I don't know how to sugarcoat. Uh, just like I said, I am a cardiologist. If you bring your kidney to me, I will not do a good job. I will only give you peripheral advice. I will now refer you to a specialty. You know? And vice versa. You are only an expert in what you do. This morning or yesterday, I was crying. Where is Papa? I know my mentor. Lo. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that on my TikTok. I wanted to remove the background so I can show something else. I didn't know how. It does not mean I'm an illiterate. That's not what it means. It just means that's not my area of experts. And we only pay kiniko kiniko, jack of all trades, master of none. If something is not your own technology, oh my bad, Mila Rooney. I want to post some things on my wall. I don't know how. You will see, they'll be telling me, press this button, press that button. Does that mean I'm old? It does not mean I'm stupid or an illiterate. It only means that is not my forte. So, um, Going back to the case, uh, they said we will get, you know, it's late to do some things. Six weeks ago, I was on this platform. I spoke about the private autopsy that we would love to do it. There was no consent. We couldn't get the consent. Today, three weeks to inquest is way too late to do that. But we have alternatives. We have alternative plans, you know. So that's what I have to say. It's okay, Mama. Your effort is appreciated. Let's move on. Okay. Thank you, Mama. I hope you remember me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let's talk about something. Uh, CY. CY is 33 years old. I've, oh, she will be 34 this year. If you look at her handle, someone, someone analyzed it for me today. His name is JJ Clock. When I saw his hand, her handle is C 33 Y. So I was just jokingly saying, uh uh, Baole, how did she arrive at this C 33 Y? 
that she must uh, she because normally you know <laughs> normally you know when you do all these things you email some people will put their email plus their the year of birth and stuff like that so we were just talking jokingly and this guy jay jay clock came up and said lady Aries, she's truly 33 because you know when you do this and do that then automatically if you put your age in the computer there's something 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 we automatically generate some you know some uh, id numbers then you will have to pick and that id number is generated based on the age or the year you put in the system otherwise how come is c 33 y so i was like to be honest you can disagree or you can agree but i kind of skew my thoughts towards the i think i agree me i agree and this is why this is why i will say i agree is because one of the things i fought baba Mobad for or with or for i don't know pick whichever one is correct one of the reasons why i fought him was because i was like baba Mobad, why why will you be taking a 22 years old girl to orioke to be praying for her to get pregnant she's supposed to be coming out of puberty what has she done with her womb a 22 years old that is not even married to your son yet what is the relationship oh i know why that came up because i got text messages whatsapp messages between cynthia and baba mobad that's why that's where that came from i have a whole lot of text messages they exchanged so i know too much right <laughs> i know too much right so that was where that came from and i was like okay why will you be taking a 22 year old to orioke Kini, I'm a 22 years old. Kilo fish womb boy. She, what has she, what has she done in life? That's a 22 year old. She wasn't married. Why was she looking for pregnancy? But now, if we, if you place her at 32, that will now make sense why she was looking for pregnancy. Because medically, they will tell a woman, a lady. The best time to get pregnant, you have your children between age 25 and 30, 32, supposed to finish tight bearing. In fact, they will say the safest is between age 25 and 30. By the time you are crossing over to your 30s, 35, they will start calling you high risk. I don't even know if it is still so now with the technology, more technology coming up. Now, but before they were saying, started falling. Okay, before they will say you have your babies between age twenty-five and thirty, and that we explain putting mommy at age thirty-two. We ex because she, if she was thirty-three last year, then she's thirty-four this year. That we explain why she was looking for pregnancy. That we explain why she was tofin wo yun kakiri. Mi mo bito so yun enu si. Tofin wa wo yun. So that we explain why. Now this is my own analogy. Analogy. That's that's it. Because he go bring proof or evidence. That's how I arrived at that. The place I am with her age today. And I do have a lot of text messages between Cynthia and Baba Mobad. And I will tell you, I don't know where they got, cropped this from. If it was her page, I will tell you that she deleted a lot. So she left the ones she want us to see. Go ahead. Somebody called my name. Good afternoon, everyone. Mama, you are right. Because me, I'm 35. My last baby I gave birth to last year. When I went for a checkup, the doctor told me that I'm 35, that I'm high risk. That is only from 22, 20, uh, from 18 upwards to 20 something, that is not high risk. You are right, man. Wumi is, I've said it before that. Wumi is more than 24 uh, years. 
Wumi is not 24 years. She's just lying. If you look at Wumi, just look at her. Every everything about Wumi, Karimo, about the family, their generation, is about killing, lying, harm robbery. They, everything about them is evil. They are full of evil. Nothing good is coming out of that family. They are full of robbery people, killing and collecting what does not belong to them. Just imagine a useless and hopeless and foolish family. A family of evil, evil, collecting, dragging what does not belong to you. Look at the way she came out yesterday was shouting, hey, wait, 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 they want to do this, they want to do this, they want to keep you, they want to do this, to. Is, everything is fake. Lie. Fake to have sympathy from people. From people. From people. The boy property. They are asking you for DNA. You cannot go for ah. DNA. Then you are coming out to say, hey, this useless Karimo, this hopeless Karimo, I think this Karimo, I don't think maybe their, uh, their medulla is working. I don't think so. They are full of evil. I'm, I'm robbing. Ah. A family which is robbing, you will rob someone that have suffered to make his own have them money. You will rob that person because you want to live a large, a big life. You want to live a large life. You cannot suffer on your own. You cannot work on your own to make your own money. Look at the Karimo is shouting, Governor Sawa Oluo, Governor Nenemio, Governor Wife. When you know that your sister is evil, when you know your sister by more bad, you know your sister by that little boy, that poor boy, who is just trying to live a good life, who is just trying to make money because the guy has suffered before. <laughs> ah, we miss it at the banjo, Karimo Ogun Nenemi. God will never forgive you. Forgive your generation, your family, all of you. Both your mother, Olajumoke. God will never forgive you all. You will pay with your life. God will bring all of you down. You guys are going to pay with your, your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Someone can go on. Thank you very much. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what I want to say is that this Karimo, this this lady, I just reminded me. This Karimo woman, this is another suspect that we have in this case. So, is ah, it not Karimo possible that we petition? Case. Yeah, we have to petition her, or even she's in the US. Is it not possible mm -hmm. for us to write? If I want to be nasty, eh? That one, one is complaining about her already. She has a lot See, already. Lady Aries, if you want to be crazy, eh? We can we can even write so many. I don't know accusations about her to her even to her workplace if we want to make her life miserable even to the embassy in the u.s when i you told know, you that it's been her. taken care of it's been taken care of all the way perfect that's perfect that one needs to go down they're a very strong supporter here and i'll I be know. criticizing that mobile team so mm. you on board i'm very happy because i know things will get done but that doesn't stop us from dragging you guys we don't you don't work you know we there's nothing to. more to drag about so. me you finish dragging me dragging me kilo <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Look at that girl. The girl that was just spoke Yoruba now. Oh, tick me, mini Arubu Ojo. Tell me Arubu Ojo. She's one calling me mommy today. Go to my boy. I'm thinking about what something. Don't we have like um? Don't you have like mothers in Nigeria? You know, like women come together. Because Yamoba is misbehaving. Can women, mothers in Nigeria, not handle this Yamoba for us? Like, you know, come out in their numbers, you know, 
if they can look for her, put her in the, on the front line, you know, criticize it. I don't know. Women should do something. This is crazy. That's they can't be having fighting for justice other, and women are just sitting like that. What the heck? And that universe, they did that before. But you know, if it's not anything, we did that before as a matter of fact, but you know, if it doesn't come from them, them, then they don't publicize it or loud it. Hopefully when they do stuff now, they will be louding it because actually they did. The women did. But because it was from Ada Universe and Aries, they did not give it any recognition. Let me, should be, it's not a shock. I was going to say, let me shock you guys, but it's really not a shock because, you know, I said it here before, when they wrote out that fake petition for 33 bloggers, we leverage on it. We wrote counter petition for Perkins and Arifa so we can sue them and drag Umi, but they, they did not follow suit. I'm glad, Peck, I'm, I'm glad Prime Boy is doing it now. Because if then, look what this stupid girl did again to Baba. I hope they are not going to, I'm going to call them. I think I was giving them time to wake up.